Well, welcome to part three of this installment of the tavern. This will be the painting portion. Uh, it's it turned into a three parter. I I I wanted it to, but there's just so much content in this that it ended up being a three parter. But uh, I don't want to. Um, I've pretty much pontificated in the other ones, so I'm just going to make this in short and brief. And hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, comments, let us know. Ciao. All right, uh, we're to the painting part now, and I'm going to uh, kind of give you the idea of what I'm going to do. I'm not going to video it all just because it'll be a long process, but I'm going to paint six different colors. I'm just going to kind of randomly pick and go through uh, all these different planks. And just, this is the first time I've kind of done this. So I just want to see what it turns look, how it turns out. But I'm going to do raw sienna. I'm going to do uh, antique gold. I'm going to do khaki. And then I'm going to do uh xv-88 whatever the crap that one is and then ungore flesh and uh zamisi desert uh, a lot of these are very similar in nature but they're just off just a tad and I just, so i just want to go through and see what it's like just because all wood color when you start to plank it's not all the same and because it's such a large area i want to show some variety uh, and uh, i think it's easier to get away with one color when you're doing just a beam here a beam there but in this particular case, I think it was all the same color. It kind of looked kind of odd. So that's what I'm going to go for. All right, so we have quite the Technicolor coat going on here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cover it all in Reichland Flesh Shade and kind of unify it all. That's why I'm using the same wash over everything that I'll kind of Bring it all in, then I'll end up using the same dry brush over most of it. I may go up and touch things here and there just to give some variation, but that's how I want to tie it all together is I'm going to use the same colors just to bring it in together and then we'll kind of go to, uh, see how it turns out and maybe adjust as we go depending on how this turns out. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna darken some things up with a uh, Juicy Violet. And then I'm gonna come through and dry brush with uh, Dark Golden Rod. And then for highlights, I'll go up to Antique Gold. And that's what I plan on doing with this. Okay, so what I've done is I've just gone through and done purple or Juju Violet and all the cre uh, crevices, creases down on the bottom, down here. Uh, I did it along the sides over here just because that's where the other wall is going to butt up against it. And same with right here, just to give that illusion. And just follow these around. Oh, I forgot that one right there. I need to get that. So, and then I did it around this, but I forgot this one. And just all the creases, crevices, where things join, kind of dark, just kind of darken it up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and start dry brushing a dark golden rod. I'm not going to go really heavy handed with this. I just wanted to tie everything together. All right, I'm going to go back through and do a antique gold. And I don't want very much. I want, I, I want to remove almost all the paint from my brush. And then I also want to be very light handed when I do this. Okay, the wood's done. Uh, I went back with a little bit of uh, sandstone color and just highlighted a little bit here. Uh, not much, and then just maybe a little bit there. And then I painted this a Bridgeport Gray, which is this color right here. And I'm gonna do a Agrax Earth Shade uh, wash over top of it. And then I'm gonna come back and dry brush with Bridgeport Gray again, so I can start going through and, and color each rock individually with a different type of shade. So that's what I'm gonna do next. And then I'll show you the progress after that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna paint some sepia or sepia, however you wanna pronounce it, uh, on some random bricks. And then I'll go through and do uh, other colors as well, just to give it some variety. And I'm gonna kind of just paint the bottoms of them, just to give it a different hue. So the bricks don't all look like they're cookie cutter out of the same mold. I'll go ahead and do that. Kind of like I've done in other tutorials. And then I'll get back to you. All right, this is Reichland Flesh Shade.
All right, I'm gonna do some Juchi Violet now. I don't want to do a lot it's here and there. Okay, I tested out a little bit of antique gold just to see a little bit of dry brushing just ever so lightly and I was very selective spots. Like I've already done some over here and just in, right, like right here and here. And I'm just gonna go through and just barely touch on some of these areas. And do a little bit of sandstone. All right, I'm gonna use some drizzle gray. I'm gonna remove most of the paint off my brush. This is kind of just to tie everything back in to get that together. All right, I watered down some sevia. Candles are painted with sandstone. I went ahead and painted the metal with lead belcher as well. And um, this is really watered down sepia just to get a little bit of contrast. So when I dry brush the white, it'll show up a little bit better. All right, it's all dry. So I'm gonna dry brush white on these just to really bring it out and bring the contrast back. I'm gonna base coat the torches with uh, Averlin Sunset. Gonna randomly put on Rael Yellow. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Go ahead and try uh, Troll Slayer Orange. And I hit it with some Evil Sun Scarlet. The very ends I'm going to hit with corn red. I'm going to do some object source lighting on the candles and the torches. I'm going to use Troll Slayer Orange and Wire Yellow, whatever that crap that is. I can never get that. I'm just going to dry brush some on. I'll start out really light with not hardly any on there.
Well, third time is a charm. And getting this tutorial done, it was fun to do. It's fun doing it. Learn some things. Learn what not to do. What to do. Uh, tried some new things I've never done before. New techniques. Uh, I was pleased with most of them. Some of them I'm not, and I'll probably revise them going forward. But I did learn. Uh, learned what not to do. Uh, Going to give it one more opportunity also to name the tavern. So if you have any names that you'd like to throw out there, uh, leave them in the comments below, and. Uh, uh, the hobby hogans and i will uh pick one and well and next time when i do the bar uh, for this tavern i will make the sign as well and put that in there uh but like i said it was a good time uh looking forward to doing some more uh tutorials like this as far as uh for rpg uh, i don't know if i'll go extensive as a uh total inside of a building next uh this next Time, but I might, I, I will eventually, but I'm gonna probably do some accessories uh, in the next couple of tutorials and probably jump back to the row house eventually. Uh, I have some ideas for that that I wanna do. Uh, we were brainstorming and came up with some ideas, so I'm gonna do that. But it's uh, a wrap. Can't think of anything else to say other than my, remember what my mother used to always say that anybody can do art. Ciao. Cool fire. So they're nice. You say sa dude. What? Did you say Southern Knights. Sa dude.